I'll do that soon. Family, this is an example of white devils fighting white devils to keep us keep us enslaved. Now, if we look straight this way, you can see a window. That is where the shrine is, where I told you they do the selection. So from there, the captives will go underneath where we are now to the door of no return. So there's a, a big hole underneath where we are now, connecting the dungeon to the door of no return. It was blocked later by McLean. This was a cannon from British, this was a cannonballs. The cannons and cannonballs were used to defend the castle against other Europeans, not against Africans. Because when the British were here, Dutch attacked them. Danes also attacked the British. French even attacked the British. Germans, they were fighting among themselves. They did this one for defense. Not against Africans. Yes. They were making, they, they made a lot of money. So other Europeans also want to take over and make the same money. So it was a competition. A fight among themselves. So I'll break for two, three minutes. Take some pictures. From there we will go to the see the tunnel, the move to the door of no return. Go into the shade a bit. So take some pictures, then we move into the shade. Female dungeon. Yes. Okay. It's, it's close so, to the door of no return. Family, family, we call us one. White devils fighting each other to maintain control and dominance over African people and the African continent. And the water you're looking at is the Atlantic Ocean. If you want a real authentic experience, family, journey with Africa for the Africans, to enjoy the journey of a lifetime where you can enjoy a connection with your own brothers and sisters from the African diaspora and African continent. And don't have to worry about the devils intervening with your experience. Cannons of European devils fighting each other to maintain control of us. Cannonballs everywhere. And family, this is why we as a people must stand together in strong union and do what we must do for the future of our race, our children, and the African continent.